Okay, it's the end of July, and uh, let's talk about some in-ground figs that um, are ripening. So I've got a black zadar, and uh, that's one of the figs that I have planted in ground this year, and um, it's actually one of the first figs to, to ripen its brevas, in ground, that is. So this is uh, kind of naturally aspirated here in the Seattle area. Um, no greenhouse, no early wakening. Uh, I planted this tree um, earlier this year, uh, probably early spring is when I planted this tree, um, amongst others. Uh, I put down like three rows of figs into the new fig forest and um, yeah, they're all doing pretty well. It's kind of low maintenance. I'm not really taking care of it very much besides uh, a watering every now and then. I'm looking at it right now. So let's turn around, let's take a look. So this is the fig forest uh, towards the end of the property. It uh, has a, three rows of figs here and each row here has about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're looking about um, probably around 24, 26, because I got a couple extra trees over here. About 26 different trees in this fig forest. So I did a little research on um, Zadar anyway. So Zadar is actually a city in Croatia. It's kind of got a Mediterranean environment about it. Uh, you know, temperature ranges in the summertime around 70 up to the 90s. Um, so it's relatively mild, but it is uh, kind of a warm and dry summer. And then in, in the in the fall and winter months, Zadar gets really wet. So there's a, a ton of rain that happens around that time frame. Kind of reminds you of the uh, Seattle weather, actually. So I'm not surprised that my in-ground black Zadar is doing really well fruiting in ground uh, before anything else. So this is the tree right here. It's got this interesting uh, kind of knuckly growth on it. Um, look at that. Really kind of a strange thing. I'm not sure if it was from growing in the greenhouse or not, but uh, I've only noticed it on my black Zadar. Nolan and I have already picked off one of the figs, and um, there's one left today, and we're, I'm gonna go ahead and pluck this guy off and do a taste review. Now, I've already done a review here on the black Zadar that was grown in the greenhouse, however, I'm doing this one again only because it's grown in ground and I want to compare the you know the look of the fig uh, as well as the taste of the fig um, and the difference between the greenhouse fig from previous years and then this fig here that's been grown outside. Let's go ahead and pull this guy off. There we go. So black Zadar. Um, it's interesting actually it has a a couple a couple different leaf shapes here's one with the five lobe cankles here's one that looks more like black uh sorry black madeira with a single lobe or maybe he has it even three and here's one that has a trilobe so it's all over the place with its leaf shape here's one that has nothing but single lobes weird uh, and here's the fruit. Okay, so here's the black cigar uh, pulled off of the tree. You know, the other one was kind of comparable in size as well. Let's go ahead and weigh this. 50 grams on the dot. Um, so that's uh, about average. Let's cut this open. Ooh, look at that. This is, this is the customary purple tinge that you get on the black cedar. It's almost like licorice. Um, that cavity right there is kind of a telling uh, sign on it too, so very cool. Okay, so from all accounts, um, Zadar, Croatia, 
uh, and then the kind of the Pacific Northwest region has somewhat similar climate so I'm not surprised this, that the uh, black zadar does really well in ground here so obviously um, with any breba crop uh, variety you know that's going to be kind of um, the type of fig variety that you want to grow here in the Pacific Northwest and so having a breba crop variety um, is going to give you kind of the more reliable best results. Enough with the talking, let's go ahead and try out this fig, give it a review. And you know what, I'm going to start with the eye because that's where the, most of the flavor is. Mmm. Very good. Delicious. Um, so it has kind of a hint of uh, caramel to it um, and uh, kind of a, a darker it's hard to explain like a, a, a rich honey taste but it has more of like a honey caramel type of taste to it um, yesterday I almost wanted to say that I tasted a little bit of, kind of a licorice -y flavor about it but uh, it wasn't existent on this one um, but it, it gives you a, a nice punch. You know, it's almost like eating a, a seedless, purple seedless grape that is really sweet, mixed in with some honeydew. So um, minus the you know any acidity because there's definitely no acidity in the uh, the black zadar. But it's it's hard to describe that uh, kind of that purple skin flavor you know you get from eating like a purple grape. It's kind of what I'm picking up, uh, except sweeter, in the texture of honeydew. Uh, so Black to the Dollar in ground in Seattle. Another winter ripe in towards uh, end of July. Today is July 30th. Uh, fantastic fig. And um, I wouldn't be surprised if um, you know folks pick this up and turn it into a kind of Pacific Northwest common variety. It should be anyways that um, big box stores would carry. Actually, I don't want that to happen. I don't want that to happen. You know, it is a great fig, but I don't want it to be that common. But, you know, if, if you want a great breba crop variety, this is the one to go with as well. So, Black Zadar, fantastic fig. I'm going to share that one with uh, little baby Nolan. And uh, I'll catch you on the next review. Thanks, guys. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done it already. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.